Your problem with Allah. Of course, everybody has a problem. If you are, have no problem, you are not a human being. And uh, the problem could be as, sim as simple as possible and you make it big, or it is big, you dilute it, you dissolve it. Now, everyone has to have problem in this life. If you don't have problem in life, it means you are not living on this planet Earth. You are living in heaven. In heaven, there are no problems. You should expect problem every day, and you should be smart enough how to handle it, how to solve it. Is it true? No. Even in your profession, don't you see so many cases every day? And every patient is an independent case by itself. And even not every diabetic person is the same. Each one has different level of sugar and glucose in their blood, and then accordingly you treat them with how much insulin or whatnot. And not every cancer the same cancer, even if it is lung cancer, something, something big. So the same thing you have to expect, there is a problem for me every day, and I have to face it every day. Now, the more you are mu'min, the more you are obedient to Allah, the more the, the, more the problem. <gasps> really? It should be more problem. Really? I said, that's your problem with Allah. Why? He said, أَشَدُّ النَّاسِ ابْتِلَاءً الْأَنْبِيَاءِ And a little bit. The uh, highest degree of problems are to be given to the prophets. And anyone who is closer and closer in Iman to Allah, you'll have more and more problems to be faced. And we caught you so many things in that. Now, the sources of problem could be your goodness with Allah, of course, your bad relationship with Allah. But now, I want to take the, your goodness with Allah brought you a problem. Of course, I mean, if you refuse to obey Allah, see the ayah, I brought you two ayat. One ayah in uh, Surah 20, and which is uh, Surah Taha. You can see the ayah on page 96. وَمَنْ أَعْرَضَ عَنْ ذِكْرِي فَإِنَّ لَهُ مَعِيشَةً ضَنْكَ وَنَحْشُرُهُ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ أَعْمَى قَالَ رَبِّ لِمَا حَسَرْتَنِي أَعْمَى وَقَدْ كُنْتُ بَصِيرًا Anyone who refuses to remember Allah. Zikr. What is zikr? Remembrance of Allah. How you remember Allah in salat? How you remember Allah in salat al-jum'ah? Salat al-jum'ah zikr. يا أيها الذين آمنوا إذا نودى للصلاة من يوم الجمعة فسعوا إلى ذكر الله ذكر الله صلاة الجمعة. so anyone who refuses to come صلاة الجمعة at least you are not obliged sisters but you are not exempted from it you are not obliged but if you attend in America is more than anywhere else in the Muslim world because they, you need to be inspired, motivated. Anyone who refused to pray five times a day, therefore his lifestyle and problem are plenty. I'm not worried about it. I'm worried about those who are good Muslim. But now for the time being, the second ayah in uh, Surah Zukhruf, وَمَنْ يَعْشُ عَنْ ذِكْرِ الرَّحْمَنِ نُقَيِّدْ لَهُ شَيْطَانًا فَهُوَ لَهُ قَرِينٌ Anyone who refuses also the remembrance of Allah, shaitan will chain that person and you will be in the hands of shaitan like a dog. You cannot run away from shaitan, which means that shaitan possesses you to create problem. These are the people on one side. I'm not worried about them because they are, they should have the problem. How about you and me? Do we have to have problem? Yes, Akhil. I know, I have seen it uh, even in South Africa. They put their wives in the stores and they come for salat. Huh? Allah says, leave the business transaction, don't earn money. He didn't say, first of all. He didn't say, leave the purchase, because when you buy, you pay money. But when you sell, you earn money. He said, don't earn a single one. What they do, as brother said, they put their wives and daughter in the store. Huh? I came to the, uh, to the salat. I'm not earning money. My wife is earning money. But it's haram. Now, if you are not obliged in the clinic at that time, don't give appointment to anybody unless it's an emergency in emergency room of the hospital. But if a regular clinic decide between you and Allah that I will not give appointment at this hour, like a lunch hour. I want to take off one hour, two hours, so what? 
And honest to God, any time you prevent yourself from earning money from that hour, Allah is going to replace it to you, and you'll find all the money is coming at later hour, afternoon. We make a survey in this time. The best day, I close the stores from 12 to 3 completely. The best day through six months for selling, it was Friday. Alhamdulillah. This is really, this happened, I have all this paper and documents about that. We close the store in, in three hours. The best day, three, six months, is Jum'ah time. During Jum'ah Salat? No. Uh, after? After Salat. Yeah, yeah. Allah replaces it, no doubt about it, believe me. And the more you obey Allah in that hour, believe me, the best. You know that hour is the door of heaven are open, dua has been accepted. And especially if you are sitting on the floor in the masjid with the congregation, and that is the time you should plead your case. If you can afford it, I do encourage the sisters to go. I still remember in 63, I gave khutbah Jum'ah at that time in 63, at uh, Urbana Champagne Campus, MSA. And our, uh, some of our brothers came from the Muslim country with their wives, but their wives are sitting at home. I told them, I encouraged them, everybody, man, you want my wife to come to Salat from where you are inventing this? They are not supposed to come. I said, yes, in the old country, every street is Bahot Shukriya, uh, good morning, or uh, Salaamu Alaikum, Alaikum Salam, and the Adan in every street, in Cairo, especially the Egyptian. I said, Cairo is the city of 100,000 minarets. So anywhere you go, Masjid, 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 and all are talking the same thing. But here in America, Haram, she is sitting in a jail. Nobody will say Salam, nobody knows she is Muslim, nobody will say Salam, anything. So I'm encouraging every sister to come to the masjid. I said, even if you cannot pray, you know Eid, Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam demanded from the ladies, all of them, young and old, monthly period, no monthly period, come. You abstain from Salat in the Eid, but listen to the happiness of the Eid and the khutbah al Eid. But many of us, when we come Salat al Eid, when the khatib stand up for khutbah, everybody is socializing and talking. They don't want to listen. One Sahabi, from the Ashra Mubashirina Bil Jannah, those who are being promised Jannah, he moved from Mecca, Medina to Damascus. He found that they don't listen. You know what he did? He reverted the cycle. He gave the khutbah first and salat second. Hey, you are from Mubashirina Bil Jannah, Jum'ah, yes, khutbah first, salat second, Eid, the river. He said, You people, you don't sit, you don't listen. You disturb me, you disturb everybody. Last Eid, I shouted before I started the khutbah, before it started even the salat. I said, I'm not going to pray with you today, unless and until all of you are silent. Huh? I stood like this. I said, I'm not going to start the salat till all of you are ready. Even after salat, you promise no one is going to talk. You want to talk, socialize, get out. Here is a place of ibadah and salat and ta'abud and khutbah. You want to talk, get out. I shouted the first time in my life. They said, this is the first time we were the sisters. I mean, 95% of the sisters want to listen. But 5% disturb everybody. They disturb everybody. So I said, you want? If you have babies, get out. And really, during a khutbah, one baby was crying. His mother stood up and got out, <laughs> not to disturb him. You see, I mean, salat is ibadah. We want peace of mind. Many times they bring their children and the children are playing like a golf or gorse and whatnot, jumping upside down and mom and dad feeling happy. Many times I give lecture to sisters in the daytime, they bring their children. I carry the child, she's happy sitting there and I'm babysitting her while I'm lecturing. <laughs> really, I'm carrying the baby for her and she's sitting happy. He's helping me taking care of my baby. I'm the teacher teaching you. How can I flip the things? And the baby is crying and I want to write on the board. Now, we'll come to you and to me now. Now we start.